federal judge in Dane County refusing to postpone Tuesday's election. However, you now have more time to request an absentee ballot and more time to send it back for it to be counted. Hannah Jewell with the late breaking details. What's happening everybody coming back to the channel. News of the day, we've got people playing politics in Wisconsin. And also it is coming out that singer Ashanti's sister, Shia Douglas, is now going public about her abusive relationship with rapper Slow Bucks, who was down with 50 Cent in the crew. And we're gonna cover both of those stories in today's streaming news. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Grab those notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. Follow me on the gram. Let's jump on into it. So Ashanti's sister has come out to try to give some clarity on what happened during her relationship with her ex-boyfriend who was abusive. And it got so bad that at one point in time, he beat this girl so bad that she lost teeth. The story behind this is Ashanti's sister, Shia, got caught cheating with someone else. It's supposed to have been a secret thing. Um, it was I guess that was kind of her way of saying, I want out of this relationship. And when she got caught, boyfriend basically started beating on her. But the catch to that was she stood with him for a little while. And in interviews that came out and in questioning of what type of relationship they was having, she never indicated that anything was going on. She never indicated that there was a side dude she was messing with. She never indicated any of that th stuff. She made it seem like everything in the relationship was okay, copacetic, whatever, whatever. Now it is coming out, all the details of the story. And I think that here's the plight for a man. If the story is what they're portraying it to be, that you found out she was smashing some other dude, yes, that's a hit to a man's ego but you still can't put your hands on a woman. The best thing you can do, save your career, save yourself jail time, and just break up and walk away. There's gonna be tons of issues that are gonna come up that's gonna hurt anybody's ego, man or a woman, but you have to be smart in the heat of your emotion. Emotion is usually what happens when people act on emotions in an erratic way when they're being emotional. Um, you just got to walk away so that something like this doesn't come back to bite you in the ass. And now as more stuff comes out, I will be following up on the story for you guys. But as of right now, I'm not seeing where there's going to be any legal proceedings, more so than she's coming out telling her side of the story. And it looks bad. It doesn't matter what someone does to you. It doesn't matter what a woman does. She can sleep on 22 penises. You still can't put your hands on her. And you can't have it coming out with picture evidence that you hit the girl so bad that she lost teeth. Fellas, life game for you guys. No matter how bad a relationship gets, no matter how much it bothers you, walk away. There's plenty of women on the planet. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Live to fight another day. There's other stuff out there you can deal with other than putting your hands on a woman. Moving to politics. So we're dealing with the coronavirus. The state of Wisconsin currently has a Democratic governor, but is ran by Republican Congress. And their highest court is ran by Republicans. The debate with them is they're having primary elections that are supposed to go on today. Now we're supposed to be under COVID-19 shut-in rules in that state anyway. So what does the Democratic governor say? He says, let's do a mail-in ballot. This thing got so heated because the legislature in that state said, hell to the no, we're not gonna do no mail-in ballot. We want them people to show up, even though we're under coronavirus shut-in, we want them to show up, risk getting sick, risk it all to do your quote-unquote civic duty. Federal judge in Dane County refusing to postpone Tuesday's election. However, you now have more time to request an absentee ballot and more time to send it back for it to be counted. Hannah Jewell with the late breaking details. Clerks all over the state are overwhelmed with recent requests from thousands of people now wanting to vote absentee in Tuesday's election because of concerns over the coronavirus. Applied for an absentee ballot, never received it. Leaving thousands frustrated. I'm trying to get 
a ballot, haven't received anything in the mail. A federal judge agreed with the decision Wednesday to continue with the election as planned, but also extended the deadline for absentee ballots to be counted. To ensure that every registered voter receives an absentee ballot to vote in the upcoming election, to allow absentee ballots postmark the day of the election, and to extend the time period to give our clerks extra time to count the influx of ballots. The new deadline to register absentee is Friday at 5 p.m. Ballots received up to April 13th will still be counted. I'm hopeful that all of us can agree that everyone should be able to exercise the right to vote. Many municipalities, including Milwaukee, are offering drop-off locations for absentee ballots. The other option is to vote in person. The Wisconsin National Guard is preparing troops who will work polling sites dressed in casual clothing to work as traditional poll workers across the state, alongside other volunteers helping meet demand on Election Day. Still, many are concerned about turning out to vote. If if for whatever reason you're not able to get your absentee ballot in the mail on time, you can always vote in person. In Milwaukee, Hannah Jewell, Fox 6 News. Okay, show up in person. It gets to the Supreme Court because it was a heated battle. You know, I look at it like this. What's more important? Trying to have your political advantage or worrying about people's health? Well, what do you guys think the Supreme Court of Wisconsin said? They ruled in favor of the Republicans. People need to show their asses up in public during the midst of this coronavirus thing if you really want to vote in these primaries. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that should be a punch to the eye about how much Republicans really and truly care about your quote unquote health versus their power, the power of the people that run them and money. At the end of the day, what would have been the harm in a mail-in ballot? I'll tell you what the harm is. The harm is more people can vote, which is what we're supposed to want in the first place. The harm is when more people are allowed to vote, Democrats tend to win those elections pretty much anywhere in the United States. This is just a pure travesty, ladies and gentlemen, for two reasons. Now is the perfect time to be doing something where you do a mail-in ballot just simply because we're under this coronavirus shut-in. And there are gonna be a lot of people who are affected by being shut in, the folks who are poor, the folks who are in poverty, folks that really don't need to go out and vote, who are probably gonna sit this one at home. And that's not right. We all pay taxes. We should all be allowed to vote. Life gains for the day. We should be doing things that make it easier for every person to take part in the voting system, regardless of what part party you're pushing. Post all your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this Shanti thing. Let me know what you think about Wisconsin and these raggedy politics. And we'll keep this thing pushing until the next video. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like it, comment, subscribe, share. Let me know what other news stories you guys got going on out there that we can cover on this channel. And until that next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.